My whole thing is, is openness and transparency. Every time you ask a legitimate question of county administration, they go behind closed doors, lock the door, and don't peep out. That's a problem. Greenville County is preparing to spend $60 million developing a new government building, and some members of the African American community have questions about whether their concerns about the project have been taken seriously. In particular, some members of the African American community want to make sure that minority owned contractors are part of the construction. 7 News reporter Ann Maxwell spoke with the local leaders about this big project and this big issue, Ann. Amy Gordon, several African American leaders tell me they have repeatedly reached out to county leaders with their concerns about this issue, but they haven't really been able to engage them. The chairman of the county council says the county encourages minority participation in the bidding process, but there's no guarantee any minority owned businesses will receive contracts in this project. County Councilman Ennis Fant says African Americans make up about 20% of Greenville County, and he wants that community to reap some benefits for their part in the investment of a $60 million government building. We feel that at least 20% of the contracts issued in this project should go to African American contractors. That's only fair. Fant says he's repeatedly reached out to county leadership about this, but his concerns have fallen on deaf ears. We have asked about contracts for the last 24 months, have gotten no answers at all. The Greenville-based Minority Economic Development Institute works to connect minority-owned contractors with local construction projects. Its chairman says they routinely work with about 30 minority-owned businesses, both general and trade contractors. He says he hasn't had any luck getting the attention of county leadership. He says that's unusual. It basically says uh, we are interested in talking to you about it. Uh, we're going to do what? what we want to do or what we don't want to do. But the county is reviewing its policies as it pertains to minority participation in projects like this. We've asked our staff to undertake that review and when that's complete it'll be presented to the county council for uh, their review and uh, action as appropriate. Fant says if minority owned businesses aren't included in construction, he's willing to file an injunction to stop the project. Fant says he's also interested in getting some women-owned businesses on board um, as part of the project. And I want to say Kervin also says that he's been transparent throughout the process and the meetings about this project have been open to the public. So Kervin talked about, you know, looking into this a review process. Is that based on these concerns being raised or is this something that was already underway? I'm not sure when I spoke with him. It sounded like these were things that had kind of already been underway, but at the same time, you know, Councilman Fant says he's been bringing up these concerns for two years, so it's, it's, it's hard to say. I'm not sure. Okay, we'll continue to follow it, Ann. Thank you.